D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can read them, you know, and come up with your own opinion or whatever. Or you can just listen to uh, this video slash watch this video. And, you know, just go about your way because I'm just going to break them all down for you. So uh, before we get started, though, I just want to say that uh, if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share and subscribe and I thank you in advance. So now why don't we go ahead and get started. So it looks like there's a Harley Quinn Kite Man spinoff series in development over at HBO Max. Now, if you may remember, Kite Man made his animated debut on the Harley Quinn season one and then developed in a relationship with Poison Ivy in season Season two, and it was immediately a fan favorite. Um, I personally like Kite Man. Uh, he's he's pretty great. He's so funny. Now, um, in that show, Harley Quinn is of course voiced by Kaylee Cuoco. Uh, Poison Ivy is voiced by Lake Bell, and Kite Man is voiced by Matt Oberg. <clears throat> Now, the series co-creator Patrick Schumacher announced this week um, that a spinoff series is in the works at the stream uh, at the streaming service. Um, so uh, it's, and he, it's he said that the series is currently titled Noonan's and would center around Kite Man after he buys Noonan's Bar, which is in the, uh, the, uh, the show. Um, this is an iconic spot for the criminal underworld in Gotham City, and the location of its first appeared in the, uh, the Demon Annual in 1993. And the bar is named after the hitman, Sean Noonan. Um, and uh, they have a lot of stuff take place uh, in the Harley Quinn animated show um, where where it takes place in that bar. And it's 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 pretty fun. I really enjoy that show a lot. Uh, you know, um, my only negative is that it's very adult and uh, I have a daughter uh, and she is a toddler and she loves Harley Quinn. Um, but there's no, uh, you know, new Harley Quinn that's that's made for her. Everything's very adult and uh, she can't see that kind of stuff. So we mostly stick to the Batman, the animated series and, and like comic books that aren't too graphic because, you know, you know, you want to keep their innocence. Um, so Schumacher said that uh, said this about the show. <clears throat> He says, he tries to run the bar by himself, but it doesn't turn out so easy. We have Harley and Ivy appear in the first episode, but after that we have uh, we have with different goons and villains appearing every episode, like Lex Luthor and Bane, and it will be kind of a cheers for supervillains. Now I have to just say about this, I think that's an interesting concept and it's a good idea. I didn't like Cheers very much. I know a lot of people really liked it, but maybe it came out, you know, a little bit before my time. You know, I was very young when that show was on, um, but I, you know, I never really cared for it. So maybe it was just, you know, you know, too uh, mature for me at the time. But uh, again, this sounds great. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this show because I do like Harley Quinn, the animated series. It's a fantastic show. I suggest watching it. And I think that this show sounds good. And it says, uh, so then, you know, and, and Kite Man has been through a lot lately with Poison Ivy calling off their wedding and choosing Harley Quinn over him. Um, and due to this, Kite Man is buying the bar, uh, buying this bar might be an emotional response to those sad events. And I think that, uh, like I said, this sounds fantastic in my opinion. I I hope that he did say something about how it couldn't, it could happen. It could not happen kind of thing. Um, I hope it does happen. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's, it's, it's a great idea. It's a great, it's a solid idea. I'm, I'm, you know, down with the sickness. Uh, and I hope, I hope they do it. I hope they do it. I can't get enough of uh, these animated uh, DC shows. I just love it. It's so, so good. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about uh, the Kite Man spinoff show, uh, you know, coming off of Harley Quinn for HBO Max? Do you watch Harley Quinn? Do you like Harley Quinn? Do you like the Kite Man um, character? And do you think this is a great choice to have a spinoff show uh, for this, from this show? Um, do you think the whole Cheers aspect, but with super villains in the DC universe is a good idea? Um, do you like Cheers? Tell me what you think. You can go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind you new on our channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.